Hi everyone, it's Ray here from Man City Fan TV. Not so long ago, in one of his transfer updates, Andy uh, mentioned a young lad called Daniel Alzani. Now I'd like to go into a little bit more detail about him. There's a lot of hype surrounding this uh, diminutive 19 year old who has just played in the uh, World Cup for Australia. And in fact, he was the uh, youngest uh, player in uh, all the 32 teams. He's an attacking midfielder or winger who was born in Iran, but moved to Australia at the age of six. In only 15 starts for Melbourne City last season, he featured in the A-League's team of the season, as well as winning the Young Player of the Year award. After Australia got knocked out of the, the World Cup, he said he was going to London with his agent to sort out his future. He only has 12 months left on his contract at Melbourne City, which is a bit of a worry for them. And since Man City own Melbourne City, it's got to be a bit of a worry to Manchester City too. The fear is that he could let his contract run down and leave for free next summer, or that he could try to force out a move uh, this summer on the cheap to someone who's interested, like uh, Juve, apparently they're interested, so he could force out a move for them on the cheap. He said recently, playing in any of the top five leagues in the world would be a dream for me. Now, it's about making the right move for me and making sure I get game time. Now, it's possible that City could go down uh, the Aaron Mui route with uh, Azani. Now, if you remember, Aaron Mui was at Melbourne City when City bought the club. They transferred him over to Manchester City and then immediately sent him out on loan to Huddersfield Town who were then playing in the Championship. Huddersfield got promoted and they bought Aaron Mui for about 10 or 12 million pounds. I think City made about 8 million pounds profit on the Aaron Mui sale to Huddersfield. But I think one key difference uh, is the age uh, of the two players. Aaron Mui was 25 when he came to England. So you'd think there probably wasn't much room for further development. Uh, he was probably at 25 getting towards the peak of what he's going to be at 27 28 and there probably wasn't going to be any future for him at man city i think his transfer to city was for purely economic reasons azan is only 19 years old so he's got a lot of time to develop he's got a lot of potential and a big future ahead of him so what are the options for azani well personally i'd like to see him start training at manchester city i'd like him to go on the pre-season tour to america and play in all three games so we can really find out what he's about then, if he's good enough, option one would be he stays at Manchester City and goes into the first team squad. Personally, I think that's probably a bit beyond him right now, but you never know. He could really shine in the next few weeks and uh, cement a place in the first team squad. Option two would be to come to City, do some training and then go out on loan to one of City's sister clubs or a club that City have a strong relationship with, such as NEC Breda in Holland. I think if he went to the Dutch Eredivisie, he'd do quite well there. He's only one metre 70 centimetres tall, uh, which is five foot seven in old money. And the Dutch area is, is, is quite a technical league, not as physical as some other leagues that he could go to. So I think he could really shine there and uh, develop further. If City wanted to test him at a higher level, they could send him to somewhere like uh, League 1, where he could play for Toulouse. Toulouse are rumoured to be the next club that Manchester City will invest in. And that could actually be a very good move for him in one of the top five leagues in Europe. And if you want to put him at a higher level, he could go to someone like Girona, who are playing in La Liga. Uh, I think that's a higher level than the Liga in France. Or other options are that he could go and play in the Championship, like Angus Gunn did last season when he went to play for Norwich. And he, he's had a good season and it's rumoured that he might be on his way for 12 to £15 million. Pounds. But personally, I think the Championship is a hard league. It's a tough league, un an uncompromising league. It's a long uh, season, 46 games. And as a 19-year-old little kid, um, small stature, I'd rather he played in a more technical league uh, with less physicality. The third option is that he stays at Melbourne City for another season before coming to Man City or going on loan to a European club. So, for Daniel Arzani, I think there are a lot of options. He's got a lot of potential and I just hope he makes the right choice.